The prayer that I am going to pray is uh, also a prayer that will be prayed at the United Church Conference today with a couple additions. Let us pray. Gracious God, whose love knows no bounds, who seeks wholeness and reconciliation with and for all your peoples, we bring to you our prayers, those we speak aloud as well as the unspoken prayers of our hearts. We pray especially for our brothers and sisters around the world, those of your children living under oppression, our fellow Christians persecuted for their faith, those who know what it is to live without security, without freedom from fear, without the hope for a better tomorrow. We pray for our leaders, those of our communities and nations and our church, as they face decisions made in the past and seek to guide your people to a better envisioned future. We hold them in our hearts and pray that they might know the compassion of your love to lead with prophetic voices for our future. Hear our prayer, O oh God. We pray for our neighbors, those who are near to us and those further away. As our friends and families face new joys and new sorrows, new uncertainties, new hopes. As they begin new adventures and try to heal old wounds, loving God, help them to know that in their brokenness and their blessings, they are your beloved and a beloved part of this family. We especially pray today for Richard, for Zoe, for George, for Ivy, for Garth and Phyllis and Pat and Anna and Alicia and Jim. We lift up these prayers and the silent prayers of our hearts. And we pray these things in the name of your Son, Jesus the Christ, who taught us to pray together, saying, Amen. 